Hmm. I wonder if they'll be here again. The last time we met, I'm sure it was around this time, too. Right. Since that day, they're the only thing I can think about. It's really annoying, but at the same time, I don't want them to be away from my thoughts. I think I've gone crazy already. I mean, what am I doing with my life right now? Sitting in this cafe for five days straight, staring at strangers like I'm judging their worthless lives. <sighs> Doing nothing and just wasting all my day sitting in this extraordinarily uncomfortable chair. <sighs> I hope I don't get back pain if I keep doing this any longer. I really shouldn't be wasting my money buying drinks like this over and over again. Hell, I don't even know if they'll even go to this cafe. Should I... Should I just give up? <sighs> Damn. I don't know their name. I don't know where they live. I don't know where they work at. Hell, I don't know a single detail about them. Why am I even here? I really am an idiot. Yeah, now that I think about it more, I really am an idiot of a person. <sighs> Someone does a single act of kindness, and now I'm like their obedient love slave. Why is it so painful to be in love with someone? Besides, when did they appear? What should I do? Will they even remember me? I mean, yeah, it's only been like five days, but I don't remember what clothing I wore yesterday or what food I ate two days ago. This is so hopeless. You know what? I'll give it 30 more minutes, then. If 30 minutes passes and they still aren't here, I'll just give up on it. I really need to. This is very unhealthy for me. I've wasted five days doing absolutely nothing. I don't want five days to turn into months of doing nothing. Although, on the upside, I'm glad I got this comfy corner spot. Because no one will hear what I say out loud. Otherwise, people might think I'm crazy too, since all I do is just talk to myself. Like, seriously. I need to get a life. I already tried looking at different people's faces. Do I even remember what they look like? What if they did come here and I just didn't notice it because I'd already forgotten what they look like? I mean, when it comes to that person who just walked in, that's exactly their height. Even their hair color is the same. And their eye color is the same as well. Wow, that person is so elegant and beautiful. Even looking at them from the side of their face at this angle, oh my god. I can't help but scream the word cute, cute, cute over and over. It's all that's on my mind. I wonder what they ordered. Wait. Did they just look at me? Gosh, 
They really are so beautiful. It feels so addicting to look into their eyes. Oh, they looked away. Well, I guess as a stranger, I would be like that too. We don't really know each other anyway. Why would I give a response to a stranger, right? Oh yeah, that wallet. I remember that wallet. It's the same wallet they were using when they helped me out. I will always remember the color of that wallet. Because that's the thing that makes me think of them. Wait, hold up? Is that them? What the hell am I doing just admiring them like that? Oh gosh, why am I becoming so damn flustered all of a sudden? Come on, dude. They're right there. All you need to do is approach them and thank them. You even brought that thing that you wanted to give to them. Why are you being so nervous over nothing? You've already waited here for five days. This is exactly why you're doing this. Come on. Move. Why are you just sitting here like a stone? They're almost leaving. Why would you just sit here like that? Why won't you move? Ow. Damn it. Oh, but that actually helped me move. Okay. Come on. You can do this. Wait. What should I say whenever I approach them? Hey, remember me? Thank you for that time. I really appreciate it. I mean... Will it really be appropriate to say that? And then again, what are the chances of the two of us meeting in the same cafe at the same time? Well, they think I'm a creep, too. Wait, that time when we stared at each other, do they not remember me? Ugh! This is so frustrating! Why am I like this again? I keep overthinking things. They're literally a few steps ahead of me. Why can't I just think straight and say the things I need to say? Wait, they're grabbing something. Maybe I should hide for now. They haven't noticed me following them anyway. Is... is that a key? Oh, they live here? Wow, that's really close to my place. Oh, wait, they're already inside their house now. Damn it. What should I do now? There's no way I can knock on their door and casually say, Hey, I just followed you to your house. I just wanted to say thank you for everything, right? What if they thought I was a stalker? I don't want them to think of me as a creep. <sighs> I really am a pathetic idiot. Why can't I do anything at all? Also, what should I do now? I look like a stupid person just standing still like this. <sighs> this is so draining. You know what? At least I know where they live now. I don't need to keep waiting in that stupid cafe anymore. I guess I'll just call it a day and go home. I'll just think about this later. Oh my god, why am I doing this? I'm really going crazy, aren't I? 
I couldn't control myself and did the most impulsive thing ever. I only learned that they live here a few hours ago, and yet my mind is screaming at me to sneak into their home. It's like I really need to see them. Otherwise, my mind would go completely insane if I couldn't. I really want to see them. I really want to see them. Oh, man. They've got the curtains closed. Now how am I supposed to peek inside? Well, since I'm already here... Let's see if there's any way I can open the window. It's midnight, so no one would notice if I did this. Right? Yes! I did it! Ah! Yes! I can't believe it! I did it! I'm finally inside their home! Yes! 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 Okay. Okay. Calm down. Dude, calm down. Don't make too much noise or they'll definitely wake up. Okay, let's see. Let's put this letter on their table first. Yes, I did it. I finally was able to return their money. My god, if only I knew that things were going to be this simple. Why am I such a coward? Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, can you hear me? Are you awake? Hello? <laughs> I'm so relieved that you're fast asleep. <sighs> well... Since you're sleeping right now, I hope you don't mind if I start talking to you like this. The thing is, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for helping me that time. I was going outside to buy my favorite game that time, and then going to the cafe to buy a drink, but turns out I left my wallet in the game store. I panicked. So hard that I couldn't pay for my drink, and you helped me pay for it. You even showed me the sincerest, genuine smile. I... I... <laughs> I didn't expect there to be someone as kind as you in the world. Not only kind, but cute as well. Your smile wouldn't leave my mind, no matter what I did. You always danced inside my head. So, I keep thinking about you. And thinking about you, and... Thinking about you. And the more I thought about you, the more... I feel bad that I used your money. I was a complete and total stranger to you. And yet, you were not hesitating to treat me that day. That's why I decided to wait at the cafe again, hoping to see you one more time. Then today, you appeared. But I don't know why, when we did meet, I was so... stunned by your presence. I couldn't even move, couldn't even speak. Actually. Oh, D did I speak too loud? Please, pl please, please, please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Oh, thank God, they're still asleep. Okay, anyway. I don't know what's wrong with me, but lately I feel like I might go crazy if I can't see you. So... Here I am, talking to you while you're asleep right now. Gosh, you're so cute, even in the dark. 
Wait a second. Why does your face look so restless? And you're shifting around a lot. Are you... having a nightmare? Oh my gosh, you did have a nightmare. I should really wake you up. Hey. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. Calm down. It's okay. Oh. Hi. Uh, uh, uh shh, shh, shh. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, calm down. Wait, don't hit me. I can explain, please. It's okay. I don't mean you any harm. Please don't yell. Please calm down. Yes, calm down. Just like that. Please. Yes, let me explain. Wait, why are you crying? Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you or threaten you. Huh? What are you saying? Can you repeat it again? Oh, you don't understand anything I said. Wait, who? No, it's just you and me right now, in your room. What are you talking about? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 this is not a dream. Actually, I saw you. You were having a nightmare, so I tried to wake you. There's no mean guy trying to ruin your life. It's just me, the person you helped a few days ago. Hey, 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 calm down. It's okay. I think you're still in shock. It's okay. It's all right now. Don't worry. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. There is no mean, scary guy trying to hurt you or kill you. Don't worry about it. It was just a nightmare, but they're gone now. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. They are so warm. And they smell amazing, too. I wonder what sort of shampoo they use to treat their hair like that. Wait. Wait a minute. Did I just hug them? When did this happen? I just went on autopilot and started comforting them. And now I'm... Touching them like this? Oh, my holy God, I hope this lasts forever. Maybe it will if I just keep silent while hugging them and do nothing. Oh, my God, this is heaven. I don't know how I ended up like this, but I'll just keep going with the flow. Yes? Oh, let you go? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about barging into your room like this, but please, trust me, I mean you no harm whatsoever. Do you remember me? Yes, that's me. I'm the guy whose drink you paid for, the one who forgot his wallet at the cafe. Yep, that's me. Oh, wait, 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 don't scream. I will leave. I don't mean you any harm. I mean, look, I just wanted to return your money. I know it was wrong of me to sneak into your room like this, but I mean it. I even wrote an explanation inside the letter, too. If you don't believe me, I can leave right now and you can read the letter on the table. 
This might be a bit too much for you right now, so I'll give you some time to grasp everything about what just happened. Hmm? You want me to stay? Wait, really? Oh, you're still feeling scared from that nightmare. Oh, I see. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right. I won't leave, okay? Yeah, don't think too much about anything right now. I promise, tomorrow morning, I will properly explain everything, okay? As for now, just calm yourself down. I'll be right here for you. I won't go away from you, okay? Just close your eyes. When you wake up tomorrow, I'll still be here beside you, okay? All right. Good night for now, sweetness. <laughs>